Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To manually create a blank pivot table in Excel, which you can then customize as desired, click the Insert tab in the ribbon. Then click the Pivot Table button within the Tables button group to open the Create Pivot Table dialog box. Within this dialog box, you must first select the data source of the pivot table in the Choose the Data that you want to analyze section. If you choose the Select a Table or Range Option button, then click the Collapse Expand Dialog Box button at the right end of the Table Range field to collapse the dialog box down to a single line. Then click and drag over the cell range or table to use as the data source for your pivot table. Then click the same Collapse Expand Dialog Box button again to expand the dialog box after selecting the data cells. Alternatively, to use a named table as your data source, simply type the name of the table into the Table Range field instead. You could also type an absolute cell range reference into the Table Range field instead of manually selecting the cell range. If you had clicked into an Excel table in the workbook before clicking the Pivot Table button, then the reference to the selected Excel table will already appear within the Table Range field. Alternatively, if you select the Use an External Data Source Option button, then click the Choose Connection button to open the Existing Connections dialog box. The Existing Connections dialog box shows any available external data connections. You can use the Show dropdown at the top of this dialog box to select the All Connections choice if needed to show all the data connections in your workbook, network, and computer in three separate sections. Select the external data connection to use for your pivot table from the connections in this dialog box and then click the Open button to return to the Create Pivot Table dialog box. Alternatively, to select a single external Excel table to use data from your workbook's data model or an Excel table from any opened external workbooks as your pivot table's data source, click the Tables tab at the top of the existing connections dialog box. Then select either an individual table or select the Tables in Workbook Data Model choice to select all the tables within the data model. Then click the Open button to return to the Create Pivot Table dialog box. Note that an alternative way to select all the tables added to the workbook's data model as the source of the pivot table is to simply select the Use this workbook's data model option button in the Choose the data that you want to analyze section instead. Next, choose where to place the pivot table from the options in the Choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed section. You can select the New Worksheet option button to place the pivot table into a new worksheet. You can select the Existing Worksheet option button and then select a location from an existing worksheet. If you select this option, then you can either enter an absolute cell address into the Location field or use the Collapse Expand Dialog Box button at the right end of the field to collapse the dialog box down to a single line so you can click the worksheet cell you want to set as the upper left corner of the pivot table. Then click the same button again to expand the dialog box when you are finished. Next, if needed, to add the selected data to the workbook's data model, check the Add this data to the data model checkbox. When finished, click the OK button to create your new pivot table. The Pivot Table Fields task pane then appears at the right side of your workbook window. In the Pivot Table Fields pane are the tables and fields within your selected data source. You can change the values shown in the Pivot Table by using the Pivot Table Fields task pane. You can check the checkbox next to a field's name in the Choose Fields to Add to Report section to add it to the Pivot Table. If you check a field, Excel adds it into one of the four quadrants in the Drag Fields Between Areas Below section at the bottom of the task pane. For pivot tables, these quadrants are Filters, Columns, Rows, and Values. You can click and drag the fields from one quadrant to another based on the function or layout you want to show in the pivot table. The data values of the fields placed into the Values quadrant are calculated using the SUM function by default. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.